It is December 18th. Oh, sorry, wait. It's December 16th. December 16th, 2020. Um, out at... A coconut Island uh, on the big island of Hawaii Um, in the sky right now, uh, Jupiter, uh, Jupiter and Saturn are, are, are lining up and you can see, you can see Jupiter visibly, but I have to zoom in to, for you to see Saturn. Saturn is the small one, Jupiter is a big one. It should be in alignment in a few days. Really cool. But yeah, beautiful night. It's kind of a nice warm breeze. It looks like the water here uh, on this particular beach is particularly salty. I definitely feel a little bit a little bit itchy after having swam and I definitely smell like, like the inside of a fish tank. There's some main hotel out in the distance. Apartments off to the side. Supposedly fireworks are gonna be here on New Year's, so I'm looking forward to coming back here for that Really beautiful park during the daytime and just really relaxing to hear the the water at night. Yeah, I'm not sure the name of that hotel, but it's supposed to be supposed to be doing fireworks so I'm definitely gonna come down here for that Again, that's the sound of a koki, of a koki, Puerto Rican frogs that we used to learn about maybe back in junior high school when we had to learn Spanish. The moon and Jupiter again. 
against the city. Really cool. Wow, it's just beautiful. Beautiful out here, really quiet. The frogs. I thought they were cool when I first moved out here, but... There's so many that live by my house that... <laughs> when I get home, I tell them to shut up sometimes. But in general, still still really nice kind of adds to to the ambiance. So when I first moved here, I was told that that it is okay to hitchhike. And that is like unheard of back in New York. Out in Georgia, if you go out to some of the more rural parts if some people see you on the side of the road it's a little bit more common for people to pick you up out of the goodness of their heart if you're if you're walking like at on an odd time of day um, But oh, so 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 because of that, I mean, there was no way I was going to try it. Like, like moving here, I wasn't ever going to just like. I mean, people literally told me to just like stick my thumb out on the side of the road, and that. Someone would pick me up if I ever felt like I was stranded or lost or had like walked too far out and someone would pick me up. But, um, I wasn't brave enough to try it, but one day, uh, maybe a, a week or so ago, I, I was coming from I was coming from uh, one of the beaches here called, um, called Richardson Beach. And, um, and uh, I had a long way to walk back home, maybe, maybe six or seven miles, um, maybe even longer than that. Uh, like a two hour walk
And so I decided to set out and I think within, I'm gonna have to check out those, uh, those apartments at some point. Um, within about 10 minutes, maybe even five, someone with a, a truck similar to the red one that I just walked by actually came and they saw me like walking down the road with my boogie board and, um, And they were just like, where are you headed? And they uh, actually had me like get, <laughs> get in the back of their truck. Get in the back of their truck and, uh, and they drove me all the way back into town. Um, Right now, it is currently almost 7 p.m. December 16th, 2020, uh, and that's on Wednesday. So if it's 7 p.m. now, then back back uh, back home in New York, it's probably um, let's see, seven now. It's midnight. It's right around midnight, and they're supposed to be in the middle of. They're supposed to be in the middle of a. Uh, in the middle of a snowstorm and a half over there. Um, what was it supposed to be like 12 to 18 inches of snow? Um, Yeah, so New York's supposed to be, well, the Northeast, I guess, supposed to be in the middle of a snowstorm and a half, so. <laughs> oh, God. My heart goes out to you guys. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's weird. Moving from Georgia, you know, someplace where if it snows one or two inches, everything shuts down. And everyone has the the benefit of just being able to just stay home, whatever it is that they would have been doing, you know? People usually just get groceries, stock up on a little bit of groceries and just stay home. But New York, huh, I don't know. They've gotten a little bit better about it in more recent years. Uh, I 
you know, I noticed a difference, you know, maybe around when, when Bloomberg was mayor. Got a little bit, a little bit better about like, just locking things down and putting things on lockdown, but in general, New York is definitely a uh, you got to do what you got to do city. Like nothing, nothing really shuts down. So I know that. Um, uh, <laughs> I know that that 18 inches is not going to mean anything for businesses, and you know, like, and people who have to go to work. So that is why my heart goes out. <laughs> Because <laughs> people are gonna, <laughs> gonna be walking through the snow. <laughs> I can't, I can't. Gonna be walking through the snow and shoveling and getting their cars from unstuck out of piles of snow and all this stuff. Ah. Okay, now now I see it says Gila Bay Gila Bay Cafe that HBC. It's called Hila Bay Cafe, but it doesn't actually look like it's open. I wonder. I wonder what it is really. I wonder what it is really, but not more than I want to kind of go to the supermarket right now and go home. So that's what we're gonna do tonight. But I will, I will check back on it. Sorry, it's so dark. You can't see. No, you can't see. Like, there are some magnificent trees here. I didn't even realize it. I didn't even realize it until it was nighttime. No, you can't see anything. It's just too dark. I mean, they must be like 60 feet tall. Well, most, of the, most of the great trees that I've seen out here have been more wide than tall. Like, more spread out wide than tall, but wow. Isles Cafe. Oh, the Isles Cafe. Man, there's just so many of these little spots that are like clearly 
like good local spots that I just have not had a chance to to check out just yet. <laughs> Hilo Town, Hilo, Hilo Town Tavern open mic. I don't know where this place is, Hilo Town Tavern. I don't know if it's here or what. Every Monday, every Monday, seven a.m., uh, seven seven p.m. to Pau. Uh, Pau is, um, is like taking a break, like break from, like when you finish work, when you get off work, you pow. That's an interesting poster. It says, I just kept working. I don't know why, but it's about music. It's, it says music on everything, uh, uh, blah, blah, why? I don't know what it means. See what kind of food they got here. California rolls, teriyaki beef, uh, hooper roll. Let's see. For breakfast, they got breakfast bento. They've got, you see, like a lot of a lot of Japanese, a lot of Japanese food. Um, bacon, Vienna sausage, spam, or Portuguese sausage. Uh. Pork link sausage, pancakes, French toast, banana bread or sweet bread. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Grilled cheese sandwich, fried egg sandwich, fried rice special for breakfast. Oh, yeah. Fried rice is a thing for breakfast here. Isn't that interesting? They got something called a loco moco, which is like, I don't know. It's like a burger and fried rice with soy sauce and the burger is like soy sauce is like soy sauced up and the and the and the fried rice is, is like soy sauced up it's like soy sauce and like maybe like no maybe like fish sauce and like eggs uh it's pretty good but uh different than what I thought. Oh yeah, boat rentals out here. Suisan, I don't know what that is. I'll have to find out about this uh, boat tourist to go and see lava pouring into the water. Biker. You know, I really need an electric bike or a moped or something.
Um, but yeah, I guess we'll see how uh, we'll see how the storm shakes out. I know restaurants are hurting there. On top of everything else. Hey, I'm hearing some kind of music, like really loud music. I think I may have, uh, <laughs> I don't know, it could be a family gathering, but based on the buildings that I'm seeing, it's probably an event. I. It's probably an event. I kind of like things like that. I, I'm gonna have to uh, investigate. Let me find out. There's like a little, uh, a little bit of underground music uh, on the Big Island. That would be pretty cool to find out. Uh, a month or so in, it's a little scene. I think it might be like a little, little impromptu concert. Oh shoot, I can't really see. Okay, um, well, unfortunately, it's a little bit too dark for me to continue recording, so I'm gonna have to, uh, gonna have to stop it right there.